See, people are losing their respect for the black church because everybody sees that the black church is a business. People are losing their respect for the black church because everybody sees that the black church is now a business. When Dr. King was around, black church was a service. When Nat Turner was around, black church was a service. When Frederick Douglass was pastoring up in New York, black church was a service. When Bishop Turner was around, black church was a service. Black church is no longer a service. Black church is a business. Black church is no longer about spirituality. Black church is about capitalism. So the way these young brothers are looking at the church, they like, that's not God in it. How can that be God house? How can that be God house when everybody in his neighborhood is broke, hungry, and unemployed? But the pastor living good, his family living good, his son living good, his wife living good, the people on the choir living good, the deacons is living good, the bishops is living good, and I'm living in hell? How can that be God's house? That ain't God's house. That's a house of hypocrisy. That's a, in fact, the way they see it, the way they see it, they think they're doing God a service by robbing the black church. Listen to me. Listen to me. Understand, overstand, and understand. You got these young folks, they like, wait a minute. If that church is full of hypocrites, if that church is full of hypocrites, if that church is full of people who claim to be doing God's work and all they doing is robbing the poor, if that church is full of people who claim to be doing God's work and all they do is rob the poor, maybe I'm doing God a service by going in there and robbing the church. Maybe God wants me to go in there and rob this den of thieves. They say there's no honor amongst thieves. So if the pastor is a thief, if the preacher is a thief, is the, if the bishop is a thief, if the deacon is a thief. I'm not disrespecting the churches who do God's work. I'm not disrespecting the churches who do God's work. I'm not disrespecting the churches who do God's work. I'm saying for the hypocritical churches, for the hypocritical churches, for the hypocritical churches who talk Jesus, but they only care about money. For the hypocritical church, that a den of thieves cannot be a sanctuary of God. A den of thieves cannot be a sanctuary of God. A den of thieves cannot be a sanctuary of God. And so all I'm saying is if your church is a den of thieves, if your church is a den of thieves, if what you got came from stealing from black folks, if what the black church has came from stealing from black folks, if what the pastor has came from stealing from black folks. What do you say to a group of young brothers who hungry, got kids to feed, who say if they stole it from the community, why can't I go steal it back and feed my family? If the black church stole their money from our community, how am I wrong to go into the church and steal it back? I ain't shoot nobody. I ain't stab nobody. I ain't punch nobody. I ain't stop nobody. All I did was say, get down and lay down. In fact, you know what they call it? They don't call it robbery. They call it reparations. They don't call it robbery. They call it reparations. They don't call it robbery when they go into the black church. They call it spiritual reparations. The black church been robbing black folks since Dr. King died, ain't been doing nothing for the black community. So these brothers are coming in to get 
their spiritual reparations from the den of thieves. I don't support it. I don't encourage it. I don't condone it. But what I am saying, it's a new day for the black church. The black church better check itself. The black church had better check itself, had better get some security. And I'm telling all my beautiful African sisters and elders, do not go to church if they do not value your security. Do not go to church if they do not value your life. Do not take your children to church unless you are absolutely certain that you want to get out of there and your children are going to get out of there safe. I'm not judging nobody. I'm just only telling the truth. <laughs>